This is the second year in a row that you've been in the championship game, taking one game at a time. So what's the difference this year? Well, first of all, to God be the glory that we we're here today, you know, just to get another opportunity to be able to, you know, get ready for another football game. It's a lot of teams that you know, turned their equipment in a couple days ago, but we're still playing, and we're grateful for that. But, you know, our process is our process. I mean, you know, our young men, we try to focus on what's important now. That's no opportunity wasted. And every day, we just want to win the day. That won't change in our program. As a football team, anybody that follows us, they know we read a book called Chop Wood, Carry Water, every training camp. And uh, that book just focuses, a lot, focuses on falling in love with the process of becoming great. Everybody wants the end goal, but we focus on the process and fall in love with the journey of becoming great. And uh, our young men wholeheartedly have, have bought into that. Uh, and uh, we just try to go one and all every day. That's one and all in the classroom, one and all in study hall, one and all in our meetings. You know, one and all in practice, one and all in whatever we're doing. And I think, you know, our young men are completely focused on that each and every day and just fall in love with being great one day at a time. Coach, introduce your players for To my right, uh, this handsome gentleman to my right, uh, quarterback from right here in the metropolitan Atlanta area. He's a transfer quarterback. He's in our grad program. He's getting his masters right now. Uh, his name is Aeneas Dennis. Uh, to my left, this other handsome gentleman. He's a, he's a defensive lineman uh, from, from Naples, Florida, but uh, his name is uh, uh, Lupert Danellis, and uh, he's a senior. He's getting ready to graduate this December, and he's doing an amazing job in our program. So now, Coach, having won 10 consecutive games this year, uh, 11 last year, including the uh, conference championship, how do you get your players to buy in to start 1-0 as opposed to we won 21 straight? Well, it, it goes back to that 1-0 that philosophy. I mean, just fall in love with the process. I mean, that process is real. The journey, nobody likes the journey. You know, the getting up in the morning. You know, we practice in the morning, so we have our position meetings and team meetings, special team meetings at 6 a.m. every day. So you have to have a love the journey. You have to love the grind. And our young men are focused on the grind. You know, we knew coming back into this season, we were returning about 70 players from last year's team. And uh, we knew that the foundation of our program was already there. Yes, we signed some newcomers, whether that was incoming freshmen or whether that was transfers, but they all had to fall in love with the process. To us, it's not always about getting the best player. It's about getting the right fit. And that's the right fit as coaches and the right fit as players because everybody doesn't fit our program. We're about digging deep through adversity. It's an acronym we go by, and that D is discipline. Anytime you're building a program, it has to start with discipline. Everybody's not going to make the journey. Every coach not going to make the journey. Every player's not going to make the journey. So we have to have discipline first. That's non-negotiable in our program. The I is integrity. That is your character. That who are you when no one is watching you? G is God. We put God first in our program. We don't hide from it. We, we're founded on the Baptist principles. Our, our, our college is founded on that. So we don't hide from it. The, the program has had a lot of favor because we put God first in all we do. D, dedication. You got to be dedicated to be a student athlete. You talk about these young men. They get up and bump the ground in the morning for, for, for position meetings and team meetings. They get up. They go right to practice. They leave there. They got to go to weights. They got to go to class. Study home, they gotta go to position meetings. It's a lot of things they have to do. So to be a student athlete at Benedict College, you gotta be dedicated. E is effort. We always tell our young men a football play lasts about four to six seconds. So you mean to tell me we're gonna question your effort? Effort has to be non-negotiable. So everything you do as the head football coach, I'm always gonna lead from the front. So as they watch me leading from the front, I'm gonna give amazing effort every day. So they don't have to worry about their coach. All right, and that's the same thing with my staff. But all I ask them for four to six seconds per the play, give me amazing effort on the field, in the classroom. The next key is execution. We all have a plan in life. We all want things we want. I, I tell our young men, you all, you got a dream and aspiration. You want to marry this beautiful wife. You want to have this house on the hill, boat on the lake, this great life, right? Well, guess what? You got to go execute it. Well, the same thing on football field. We can draw a play. This is how we want to run it. We want to fit it this way. But at the end of the day, you got to go execute it. And then last but not least, pride. Pride as a man first. Pride. 
you carry your daddy's last name, you better have pride in that first. Then you better have title pride. So when adversity strikes, we know in the game of football as well as the game of life, and I'm big on life for our young men, that you better be able to dig deep when adversity strikes. And we kind of put that in our whole program. So whether you're a newcomer or a returner, our young men fall in love with digging deep, not only in the game of football, but in the game of life. So, gentlemen, coach got me want to play football, and I ain't got no eligibility left. Let's get so it. Let's get it. You, every day, dig deep to provide the effort that coach requires and expects of all your teammates. Uh, first of all, it's, it's kind of easy just because we see the passion that he comes to work with every day, so it kind of in a way leads to us. And uh, we know that he, uh, even though he coaches us hard on the field, he's a, he's a man that's going to love us really hard off the field. So um, that makes a lot easier. That makes it a lot easier for us to kind of go hard for him on the field. Um, it's just a certain kind of love that you have to have in the sport and for your teammates and for your coaches. So, um, of course, like you said, we up at 5 a.m. every day to get to meetings at 6. So it's a certain kind of love that you have to have to be able to go out there and do that day in, day out uh, to try and get to where we want to go. So now, Coach Barry, how did you deal with injuries this year? Did you have major injuries? Well, like I say, there's a lot of favor in our program. You know, we have had an injury. I mean, you're talking about Division II football. Our guys reported to training camp July 26. Uh, we played 10 straight weeks with no off week. There's some guys that banged up. Even now, I mean, guys are banged up. That's football. But I tell them there's no excuse and no explanation at the end of the day. You got to get the job done. So, you know, we hadn't had any major injuries. Well, I think we lost one of our start receivers early in the year, uh, and uh, he, he was lost for the year. But other than that, you know, just soft tissue, you know, ankle here and there. A couple guys might have to sit out for, for, for whatever reason. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we have a pretty healthy football team going into to the next phase of our season. In our mind, this is a new season. You know, the regular season is over. We're focused on the new season, and we just try to go one and all every day. So now, Coach, you were dominant this year. I think you played nine games that were won by two touchdowns or more. So how do you prepare uh, for the next season, knowing that you're going to play good football teams from here on out? You know, like I explained to our football team, you know, every week is not for us a championship mindset, you know, and that's championship mindset in practice on Tuesday mornings, on, on Wednesday mornings, on Thursday mornings. That's a championship. Every rep that you take got to be a championship rep. You know, I, I love our staff first and foremost. I always have to get kudos to our staff because I'm a very demanding head coach. You know, I want the best because I'm going to give them my best, and I have an amazing staff, and our staff is very young too. You know, I don't, I don't have, I have a lot of young guys. And, uh, you know, you have to be able to do more or less on this level. And I have a lot of 20-year-old coaches, a lot of a couple 30-year-old coaches. And, you know, I guess I'm the old coach. But, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, you know, our coaches are demanding of our young men as well. And that's not in a negative way. We're demanding because we just want their best. At Benedict, we talk about the best of BC. So everything we do, we want their best. And we understand that every team that we play the whole entire season was going to give us their best. So I always tell them, we don't know what the other opponent is doing. We have no idea what the other opponent is doing, week in and week out. But we have full control of us every day, giving our best in all that we do. And we fall, fell in love with that, that formula, and that's taken to the point where we are right now. Well, good luck tomorrow, Coach. May the best team win. Benedict College Tigers. Go Tigers. Appreciate it.